to another United fan. This is the, I would say this guy is the online king of the United fan base when it comes to, when it comes to the United fans and, and social media. This is what he had to say. If you guys don't know, he had some questions about Aaron Ramsdale. And I want to know what you guys think about his take. So let it, let's play it and let's hear what he had to say. Very strong affection towards David De Gea in relation to, I really liked him at Manchester United. We all know he's like David De Gea, but it's not really about De Gea. Yeah, with the, with the clean sheets. And has been replaced ruthlessly by Eric Ten Hag. Watching Ramsdale last night, it was just in my head the whole night. He is not a modern goalkeeper. We now, before we play the whole video, I have to stop it uh, here and there because of copyright, obviously. I just want to talk about that part. Do you guys honestly think he can sit there and say verbatim that he's not a modern goalkeeper when we've seen what we had in Leno, we've seen what we had in Petr Cech, when Ramsdale came in, it changed the way we play football. How is he going to sit there and verbatimly say, Ramsdale is not a modern keeper, is besides me? There is no way Matt Gobbage said that. That Aaron Ramsdale is oh, not a modern-day keeper. But that there's a reason is... why he said that. It's because he was on talk shite. That's why. And they just say things, you know, for, for clicks and stuff. like. There's no way in hell that Mark Goldbridge believes that Aaron Ramsdale is not a modern-day goalkeeper. Aaron Ramsdale was brought in to be that guy that plays out of the back. He does that very, very well for Arsenal. If anything, I would say that Ramsdale's best, best assets is the fact that he can play out of the back. But you know what he says start. his best asset is? Listen to what he says his best asset for Ramsdale is. We've seen Pep Guardiola go in and, you know, make loads of goalkeeper changes. We've seen Klopp bring Allison in. We've now seen Ten Hag remove the best goalkeeper in the league in relation to clean sheets to bring in a ball playing goalkeeper. Aaron Ramsdale is a very good shot, step, shot stopper. He says he's a very good shot stopper. What? And I do like him, but when you look at him, I think last season, passes per 90, he was 13th in the league. He's oh now going to God. name off statistics that have no relative bearing on what I think this situation is, but he's just going to name off a bunch of statistics. Listen to this. The top five being Alisson, Edison, Raya, Martinez at Villa and Leno, who left Arsenal. Um, coming for crosses, um, um, it was uh, Martinez number one, Neto two, uh, Raya was number four, Gator was number three and um, second bottom for Ramsdale. Save percentage, 12th in the league, uh, Ramsdale with Raya number one. I tell you what. You look at these stats. I don't know why no one's bought David Rea, by the way, by, from Brentford, because he's just there in absolutely everything. But look, Ramsdale's a good goalkeeper and you can't read everything from stats. But I don't think he's a modern goalkeeper. And it's heard people what? saying things like... What do you got to say? No, no. Basically, he reads off a bunch of statistics and he's basically saying because he's the bottom of these metrics on these statistical categories, which is one, I think it was passes, uh, passes percentage... Passes per uh, he didn't mention passes per ninety. He didn't. Ma he mentioned pass accuracy, I think. And then when you go through it all, his main point is we've signed we've signed one of the best ball playing modern goalkeepers in world football, in Onana. Arsenal are going to need to replace Aaron Ramsdale to get to the top. So my question to you guys is: Is his point that Ramsdale is not a modern keeper even close to being accurate? And do you agree that we need to replace him in order to get to where we need to get to? Now, everyone in the comment section, let me know what you guys think and let's get into it because I am actually in shock that people are sitting here with the mindset that he is not a modern go uh, goalkeeper. That's crazy to me. I can't believe he said that with a straight face. No one, not a single fan base during the whole season said that I also need to replace, uh, replace Aaron Ramsdale. Not a single fan base. Mark Gobi, not once did he come out of his mouth saying that Rams is not a modern day keeper. Not once. But as soon as they get someone like Onana that can play football, they look at, let's see the list. Okay, we can't we can't put Onana and Edison on the same level. We can't, we can't have that conversation yet. We can't have the conversation with um, Alisson and uh, Onana. But Arsenal have got a good, uh, big fan base. Let's trigger them. Let's say Onana is better than Ram Ramsdale. Let's go one further. And let's say that Aram's a cat play football. He's not a modern-day keeper. Mikel Arteta, he does not sign players that's not suited to our style of football. Aaron Ramsdale, since he's come to Arsenal, 
has completely changed the way we play football. Leno was making too many safe passes. There's a, there's a reason why uh, Aaron Ramsdale's got a low percentage on ac- passing accuracy because it takes the most risky passes. And sometimes it works and it doesn't work. Leno, there's a reason why we took Leno out. There's a reason why I didn't want to keep Emmy Martinez. Have you seen Emmy Martinez for Aston Villa? How many mistakes he's made playing out of the back? So this is this was one of the most craziest lines I've ever seen, statements I've seen from Matt Goldbridge ever. Man saying Onana's clear of Ramsdale. We're not even trying to compare him. We're literally just trying to talk about our player. Uh, anyways, what are you saying, Brendan? Would you replace – do you think we need to replace him? And do you, uh, since you already disagreed with the part where he said modern keeper, do you think we need to dis- uh, replace Aaron Ramsdale? My take on it is – He's 100% a modern-day keeper, no doubt. And Ramsdale takes no blame in us not winning the league last season because I thought he was actually very good for Arsenal. When Mark Goldbridge said, though, that his best attribute is his shot-stopping, I disagree with that. I think Aaron Ramsdale does have a tendency of conceding goals that he shouldn't be conceding. Like the other day, for example... The shot from Fernandez, he should have saved that. You know, at least pushed it to the side of the goal, if not caught the ball. And Ramsdale does have this tendency. So, with regards to we need to replace him, I think the jury's out on him because is he a good enough all round goalkeeper to win us the league? I'm, I don't know. We'll find out more about that this season, I think. But to say he's not a modern day goalkeeper, that's just madness to me. Madness. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's a tough one with Ramsdale. We're, we're going to see this season. We're going to see this season. But there's no doubt that he is. The only reason that people are having these conversations about Ramsdale is because when we originally signed him and nobody wanted him and everybody was laughing, ha, Ramsdale, ha, 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 ha. He's come in and he's well and truly performed well above expectation. Well above expectation. So... That's the only reason people are having conversations about Ramsdale right now. It's not because okay. he's a bad goalkeeper. Let's get into the striker conversation. It got it got. Yeah. Can I say one more thing? Can I say one more yeah. thing? They say they say Aaron Ramsdale's not modern day keeper. They say that uh, we've downgraded our midfield of Rice, Havertz, and um, Odegaard from last season. And then they say they say we're not as in we're not going to be able to handle the pressure. So don't expect us to be in a title chance next season, then rival fans, especially Chelsea. And I've seen Chelsea United fans all over social media saying that we've we've gone backwards. So when we go for a title challenge next season, don't be giving us some next level expectation saying Arsenal need to do this, Arsenal need to do that. Keep your expectation same from the beginning of the season and then keep it same. Don't be flip flopping. Flip flopping, sorry. So that's what I hate about rival fans. They do anything just to trigger us. 